Hello everyone, it's Robin here and welcome, welcome. I'm excited to see you all here today. So today we're going into my classic vertical happy planner here and I'll be doing a plan with me for the week. And I'm really excited because we're gonna bring in some very colorful florals with the In the Garden collection on my Etsy shop. I'm excited to use this collection. Just look at these colors. I am loving it and there's burrs. So I'm excited to get this started. Let's flip the camera down and get to planning. Today we're planning for the week of July 15th through the 21st and we are using this beautiful In the Garden collection. Look at all the florals. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This kit has four sheets to it. We have the boxes sheet, the specialty boxes sheet that has the extra large boxes, the, the sidebar box and habit trackers and all the goods and two deco sheets because you can't have enough florals for sure or birds. So I'm excited about that. This kit also coordinates with the solid box sheets, violet and iris. So I have these here just in case, but I will link everything down below if you are interested in checking it out. So I'm excited to get started. Let's just do this. So I have a lot happening this week because I'm planning ahead for a special video here on the 20th that will start a Christmas in July series. Okay, you heard it here first, but that's a super special project that I have going on and I'm working towards getting things done for that. So while I wanna play with all the stickers, I also wanna do a simple spread just to keep me on track so I can get everything done. But of course, I wanna use these because look at this. This is a kind of a border strip of florals that I'm just gonna lay right down here. Now, this is built to go far on the page. I am going to trim it down because I wanna stay within the lines on this one. So we're just gonna set her up right here and just move right across. Let's, let's, let's go sideways a little bit. There we go. Getting it straight. This is one way to decorate a page very quickly. And just like so, oh my gosh, look at that. Definitely easy decoration. Let me grab my cutter and I'll use this little Erin Condren bookmark here. And I'm gonna hold it right on the line here and make my cut. Just like so, cute. Okay, we're gonna do the other side as well. Now this side is shorter, so I'm gonna have a bigger piece to cut off. But these border strips are super fun. I've been having a great time making them and using them. So sometimes I like to go all the way across like, you know, like so, and go right into my sidebar. But I don't think I necessarily want to do that this time. Let me move this aside because I want to see which edge I want to use. I think, I don't know, I kind of like this. We're going to go right here. We'll just use this edge. And it'll stop right there. That looks nice. Let me grab this again. We're staying in the lines a bit. Okay, so let's pull this piece off. And look, that's a nice piece to save. So let's do that. So far, so good. And let's put the boxes over here. I'm not quite ready for them yet. So the quote on here is, you can learn a lot of things from the flowers. And that comes from the In the Golden Afternoon song in Alice in Wonderland. So this is kind of like a Wonderland garden situation I have going on. So what I wanna do is work on that. So this other sheet here called Garden Flowers has some corner pieces. And I think I wanna put them in the corner, but I'm gonna put them up at the top. So it looks like we're looking into the garden. These flowers are just kind of hanging down. So let's do this one on this side, right like so. And I'm putting all this ahead of time because this will make a difference then how I put boxes and lines, you know, the things that make the function happen. <laughs> oh, I like that. So let's get the other corner and stick her right up here. 
these graphics are just amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, we're looking in a little garden. Love it. Okay, so let's add a little bit of function in before we put more decor. I think I'll keep this section as mostly decor and I wanna do boxes and lines. And like I said, I wanted to make it easy. We got a, a big week ahead of us and I think I'm gonna do box lines, box lines, box lines, except maybe I'm gonna reverse each one. Okay, it'll make sense here in a moment. <laughs> so let's see. So um, I have three squares but I want to try to even it out. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So if I do box, 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 there's three at the top. So let's start with that and go every other because I have four of the little squares. So box, 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 box. So we're going to put this box right on the line right here. Sometimes it's good for the brain to stay on the lines. And sometimes it's good for the brain to think outside the box, outside of the lines. So let's see, let's put this one right here on this side. And these colors are so pretty. Like these are the same colors again, as I said, this is the iris color and this is the violet color. This iris color, there's a lot of blue in it. But I think irises are like that, right? Aren't they? And then let's put this one here. And these boxes are fun, these decorative boxes, because they have the florals inside of them too. It's just a fun, colorful spread. Oh my gosh, look at that. Loving it. And then I have these boxes. So we'll go back and forth. I wanna put the sidebar. So if my sidebar is light, I think I'll start dark. And I'm gonna again, just go right on the line because we're gonna put lines in the opposite boxes. And let's put this box next. And then I'll flip this around. So you can, you can put them with, the, with it hanging from the top or hanging from the bottom. And I'm just gonna go from the bottom. And we'll put this one here. And then this one here. So I was considering Okay, so the last box we can't get straight. Fortunately, it's a removable matte sticker paper. <laughs> so, because we have these problems, and we don't need these problems there, so we can move it easily. Um, I was considering using this big box, but I think I like it this way this time. There's a lot of stickers here. Like I could do a whole other spread probably with these stickers. And I want to put birds. Okay. Loving it so far. Okay, I'm looking at my sidebar here and I definitely want to put this sidebar sticker in and I'm trying to figure out what I want on top of it because I have, you know, a ton of florals. I have birds and all kinds of fun things and I even have the habit trackers. But I also have this sticker, which I'm really looking at it. So this sticker is built to fit within a box and you can write in it so see it would fit right in here but I kind of want it up here and I think I can cut this so that it fits around the July right so if that were here like so and I fit around the July it would fit with this I think we'll, we're gonna do that let me grab my scissors okay Let's put this down first because we know this is what we're going to do. Loving the sidebar box. Oh, let me fix my note. Just so it doesn't show through. And I'm gonna put this right at the bottom. Just like so. Okay, so let's see how this would fit with this. I mean, I could put it right here Oh, I guess I could. I was thinking of cutting it, but you know what? Might not have to. It actually fits. But if I did want it up higher, then there's kind of a weird space. Okay, never mind. I'll put it like this and then uh, we'll think of something to write in it during the week. Because it fits and it's pretty. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that. Um, let me go ahead 
and put some lines in. So I'm gonna do lines um, in these big empty boxes and I'm not sure if I wanna do lines in these or not. Probably don't need to. Okay, let me get my stencil. Okay, I have my stencil here from Happy Planner and I have a dual tip marker. This is from Erin Condren and I'm using this thin side. It's kind of a purple blue color and I think I used this the last time I used these stickers because the color blends in with these colors really well. So let's go ahead and do this. So I like to line this up with the very bottom line just underneath the line on the planner on the planner page and um, I think we're gonna do we'll, we'll do uh, maybe we'll do five so let's just do it okay oh yeah I think I like that a lot so when I do the lines with my stencil I'll show you I don't go all the way to the edges because I just like having that little air, that little breathing space going on. But um, they are made to go to the edges, which that also looks nice too. I just like how this looks. Oh, I'm loving how this is turning out. Okay, let's move on. Let's put a little decor in because I love it. I wanna put the quote in first. You can learn a lot of things from the flowers. Yes, let's do that. and. I don't want to center it necessarily here. There's a natural dip in the florals here. I'm going to put it in this area. So it's a little off center from the planner, but it really works with what's happening on the bottom. And I'm kind of following these lines just a bit with the letters. I'm not going to wipe them out. We'll let it look like a, oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> we'll let it look like a, a planner, right? Um, I do want one of these birds. Look at this bird love this bird and I was wondering how he would look just sitting kind of right here oh yeah I think he looks good he's just like sitting right here let's 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 lay him down right here right on these flowers just looking into the week right love it we can put some of these florals in at the bottom too like they're coming out from behind or out of this section let's do that I'm gonna lift this up just a bit, just to dip it under there. Right under this edge here, just a touch. Oh yeah, just like that, just like that. Just kind of coming right out of the edge there. I have another one. I could go the opposite direction with this and have it come out of this side. Let's do that. I like how it looks. It doesn't have to be the same height. So I'm not going all the way to the bottom. I'm actually just letting the stem sit underneath these flowers and uh, just letting it fall like that. Okay, super cute, super cute. I have some more of these kind of tall ones. Look at this one. We could put her, I wonder if we can have her coming out around the bird. Okay, I like that. Let's flip this up a tiny bit. I'm just letting it dip under the flowers so it has a place that it's anchored just a, just a bit. And this one's going over the edge a little bit, but I'm good with that. We can do another one on this side, make it all matchy-matchy. Or symmetrical, probably a better word, right? <laughs> so let's lift this up just a touch. And lay this one in here. I'm gonna kind of go in a little bit there. Nice. Okay, I love this flower. It looks like a butterfly. Rod and I saw these flowers. I don't even know what they're called, but we saw them in uh, Hawaii. We were in Maui and uh, we take tons of pictures. And I have smaller ones too. We took a ton of pictures of this this one. I like the larger look and I'm making it act like a butterfly. I'm giving it that butter, butterfly behavior. <laughs> I like that, just kind of going into it, loving it. 
Oh, look at these. I forgot about these. These hang from the top down. And I love the color. I wonder how we can pull this in. It still, it gives that sense of big, um, it couldn't have fit around her anyway. I mean, if I hung it like this, I could take the stem off because I like how that looks. We can do this one in a, the same spot. I kind of like how that looks. Let's do that. So I'm going to trim the stem off right at this line. Just like so. And the same with this side. Oh, that one came off. Okay. It's a lot happening right here. Do we need a smaller butterfly? We might need a smaller butterfly. Ah, oh, she's so pretty. But a smaller one might, uh, might help. And I'm wondering if we want to do a pop of yellow in this direction. No, I think I think this is just too much over here. So let's let's think of a different solution. There are these. And they're small, but you can cut them apart. I think that's what I'll do. So these are three inches wide. They would fit um, kind of like between two boxes, which is really pretty. But you can also cut them between the spaces, which is what I'm going to do just to add some of these extra little florals in there that are tiny. Let me cut a couple of them. Okay, let's try, let's try these three. And let's just kind of have them, you know, go like all around here. Another little butterfly. And let's put this little pink one right here kind of fitting it in with the other flowers without going over them. There, kind of dip that up a bit. Okay, I think we have a lot of florals on the bottom, so I'm happy with that. I want to address just a couple of things up here and then we can move on. Let's take this other little piece. There's three flowers on this one. I cut one off and let's put it right here, right there. And then let's do the same. Let's cut three pieces off three flowers off of this strip. Loving these little flowers. And I'm just kind of setting it right on this line. Oh, yes. Super cute, super cute. I'm gonna put a couple of dots in there. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I think I can put two. <laughs> I could put two little things on these days that I don't have lines, right? Uh, yeah. That totally works. That totally works. Let's do two over on this other side. They're gonna be a little closer together, but that's okay. We sacrifice for the flowers and the birds. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay, so this big butterfly flower, let's put her right here. She wants to live right there. I think that would look really pretty right there. I have two more big flowers. I really love this bird. I wonder if that would look better up here. It would be so nice and bold. Okay, we're considering that. I think what I wanna do though is uh, trim these flowers in half. Let's do that and then use them kind of halfway, peeking out. Let's go straight across here and see how that looks. So they're kind of coming out of the top here. That's fun. Let's do this one right here, like so. And then let's trim this one straight across the center. And put that one right here. Okay, cute. Let's pull this bird up for a second. Now, it's kind of a big sticker. I 
think it would be bolder and a more of a statement. This one's getting lost and I could use it for something else later. But I think she's getting lost over here. And we're going to see about making this one fit. It's probably going to go over the box. I could cut right here. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, this is scary. I'm going to cut up to where this line goes because I want that to go over. And we have that little flower and I'm going to kind of fit it right on top of this box. Actually, I think I'm going to trim that too. Just right here at the box. Okay. Oh, I like that better. It's a much bolder look. Much bolder look. Okay. I think I'm going to put a couple of headers and uh, then we'll call it a day. I have a few more things I want to do here. I have some script here from my Etsy shop. This is Functional Script 2. It has This Week, Remember, and This Month. And I'm going to put a This Week sticker right here. So this will be some things happening this week that I can look at. I like having a running list, and the sidebar is perfect for that. I have some to-do stickers. This is to-do script, and I think I'm going to put these right above these sets of lines. Okay, oh yeah, I think that tightens it up quite a bit. I think we are done in our garden spread here, and I'm pretty happy with this. These colors are super, super fun. I used a lot of the stickers from the In the Garden collection, a lot of the boxes. There's still a lot of stickers left. I'll link that down below for you in case you're interested, as well as these script stickers. Okay, so this is going to be a great week. As I mentioned, I'm working hard this week, and I've been also this week too, on a video coming out next Saturday the 20th it'll be a Christmas in July presentation and I'm really really looking forward to it we'll be doing some fun festive things throughout that next week and I can't wait for that I do have a video coming out next week it'll be a currently paid video which is also super fun so I have a lot of fun things coming up that I am really happy about what do you have going on I would love to hear what you're looking forward to thank you so much for joining me I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my next video bye